Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a very common issue seen within AutoCAD, and that is the conversion to a PDF, but your line weights also convert as well. So, for example, if you have a very thick and thin line weight throughout your drawing, and you want to convert it to a PDF, and you convert it, the PDF might look very blocky, it might look very unclear. Uh, frankly, it might look like a third grader just colored on a piece of paper and you won't be able to see anything. So it really depends on what line weights you're using, but I'm going to show you how to get around this without updating all of the line weights because there is an easy way. So with that being said, before we get into it, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. And if you want to see more videos, leave it in the comments section. If you think someone else could benefit from this video, give it a share as well. Alright, so before we get started showing you the solution to the problem, I kind of want to show you what I mean really quickly. And when we talk about line weights, you can check the line weights by clicking on the object. And you're going to see up here, this outer circle has 2.11 millimeter line weights. Then this inner circle, whoop, this inner circle has a 1.4 millimeter line weight. This next inner circle is a 0.6 millimeter line weight. And this most inner circle has a 0.2 millimeter line weight. So we're going to come to our AutoCAD button. And we're going to export this drawing to a PDF. And it gives us this option box right here. We're going to say DWG1. And then we're going to click on the window to export it. And then we're going to click Save. Now, when I save this drawing, the PDF screen will pop up as it does right now. And as you can see here, there are multiple different line weights within this circle. The outermost is a thicker line weight, while the innermost is the thinnest line weight. What this does is it plots the line weights in your PDF, and while it doesn't look like a pain right now, if you have a bunch of intricate lines that are really close together, it will look like a big blob of colors when you want to go to convert your drawing to your PDF. So we're going to close out of this, and we are going to show you the correct way to do this. So we're going to come back up to the AutoCAD button. You don't need to change the line weights here on the circle. We want to keep those the same. We're going to come back up here to the AutoCAD button. We are going to come down here to print. We are not going to go to export. We're going to go to print. And then we are going to come up here to the printer plotter name. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come down here. And we want to come to all the way to the bottom to DWG to PDF. So we come to DWG to PDF. And just a quick reminder, this will all be available in a different video as well. Um, this one's a little bit shorter, but I have made a video that shows you the uh, DWG to PDF just in general how to do it. But I'll link that up above. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our display button. We want to go to window. And I'm going to create a new window right there. And the most important thing, we're going to need to come over to plot options. We are going to click the plot object line weights. We do not want a check mark in that box. It automatically fills in the check mark. We want to click that off. The plot with plot styles is fine. But we want to get rid of the plot object line weights. We want to make sure that is not checked. Once we've done all that, we can click OK. And then we are going to name it DWG2. We'll click Save. And then the PDF will show up. And as you can see in the PDF, all of the object line weights or all of the circle line weights are exactly the same. So you want to not have that check mark in that box for plot object line weights that is huge that will allow your drawing to look like this all right so that's gonna wrap up the video here hopefully you guys were able to take something away hopefully you learned something pretty short video shouldn't have taken too long for the lesson this is a pretty easy fix but it's super small and super detailed so if you didn't know how to do it before this is going to be super helpful for your future with autocad so anyways i appreciate you guys watching the video i appreciate all the support and hopefully everyone has a good rest of their day